Good afternoon. It's um, 12.20 Eastern Time, which is 5.20 in the UK, and I'm doing my recap because I'm pretty much done for the day. Um, my first trade was actually before my pre-market video today, and that was on MES. Um, I'll go into that in a second. I'm still in it right now. Um, but at the moment, I've got the crude oil futures open on my screen, the five-minute chart. Um, I took some trades on oil today. Um, I was watching for a breakout up here, and I went long there, pushing for a push above because um, we had oil um, numbers come in today as well, and it looked quite strong. We had, we had that big push up there. Was it at ten o'clock? And at ten thirty, I think the number was, and. So I went long, got up here, I didn't take profit, came down and I stopped myself out at break even. So that was, it was pretty much done. I think I was a slight profit actually. Um, but then I noticed it came down, it broke through this point of control area, which is this red line. So I was watching for a short this time. So as it came down, it pulled back up and I took the short just as it broke and re retouched the, um, retested the VWAP. At around 80.55, I think it was about there. Um, 80.60. So that was my so that was my first entry, and I took profit. It came down, and I only kept with one contract. So I'm just still, I'm only quite new to trading oil futures, and I took profit as we got down. It was. I saw this double bottom, I couldn't make a new low, and I was out at that point at 81. And so then it came back up, retraced the VWAP, and I got in with the confirmation there. So basically I waited for it to bounce off the VWAP, put in a double um, topping tail, and as it broke, it was a nice sell setup. It came down, pulled up, and my entry was exactly there, that point there. And I came down and I got out again at the double. In fact, I watched it bounce and I thought it was going to do exactly what it did before. And it is, look at that. And I got out just there. So that's two good trades on crude oil futures today. And I'm pleased that. So I'm up pretty well for crude oil. So I'll go over to MES now. And I'll go into the five minute chart again. Right, so in the five minute chart. So in the um, pre-market video I put out earlier, um, I was long, I think I got long, it was on the two minutes, double bottom on the two minute chart. And it was around 5 a.m. I believe, let's go into the two minute. Yeah, so it's just there, that's why I got long. So it's 5.34 and I used the two minute chart for my entry. It came in, put in this double bottom and I didn't take the, I was waiting for confirmation. I'm trying to improve on my trade and by waiting for confirmation more. It came up, touched this area, pulled back, and as it came out, I went long at that point and it was broke out through there. Um, it's pre market, I can't really show the volume here. The volume was increasing a little bit as well, and I held it. Um, I took my first profit on this entry here, but what I did do is add every pullback I added. And I added all the way up, I added there, and I was taking profit on the way up. I was only using one contract at a time, and two contracts max, and and the pre-market, I think I took profit there. And then I felt I got out there in total, because I was so far away from the moving averages, and I had so much um, profit on that last remaining um, MES contract, um, I didn't really want it to pull all the way back, so I got out about there in total. I think it was about three ads I, I took. So one entry with one contract and I added on every pullback. I think it was there. In fact, I, I only added on the five minutes. I'll go into the five minute because that's what I was trading. I only used the two minutes confirmation and the five minute is my where I where I'd want to take my entries. So the five minute. So my entry was, in fact, it was there. That's my entry today. And might be a little bit better, closer because I was using the two minute to get in. And I added here, I added here. So every time I pulled back, I added, I think my next pullback, I added there, and I added there. In fact, in fact, I got out there, and I, I went long there, and I went long there. 
so I had two more contracts and so I wasn't in a position while it pulled back to that position so basically I was out it wasn't really a new position it's continuation but I didn't want to give back the profits and I, I got out on every pullback I added here as well and that's a break and retest which we discussed in the pre-market video that's what higher risk play break and retest of the pre-market high and that level and I held it all the way through here and I got out up here and did okay uh, and then the next bit I didn't handle too well so I was up quite well and I then wanted to go long again so I was out everything up here and I went long just at this point let's just clear this a bit so I wanted I went, went long at 45.16 and you know I thought it was going to bounce off the top and I held it to here and I added another contract there, so I was in two contracts, and then you can see what happened, it came right through, and my meaningful stop probably should have been there, but I, I was, that was too large of a stop for me, and so I, I, I stopped out there as it came down, pushed back up, but it didn't deter me, I still carried on with the trade, so even though I stopped out there, and I made, this was a loss, this was a loss, so it ate into my profits from this really good trade, um, I then came back in and I added when it broke and re came back up through the VWAP and I added again there as well and I've been in and I also added when it came back and retested the 20 there in fact it was just there my add and I'm still in this trade right now um, it's looking a bit toppy now so I may look to come out um, but it's doing okay so I've basically been holding this trade since 5 a.m. and it's currently 12:30 p.m. Eastern time so it's not bad so that's yeah so probably one of the longest times I've been in a trade excluding obviously this bit of time here where I came out of it Hang on, um, it was this bit of time here I wasn't in the trade at that point until I went long again there and that's it so good day it's a really good day both for oil and MES futures um, let's look at it now. Where are we head in today? Look at the daily. So the daily we put in this. So we were in this bit of a downtrend. We put in this pivot, pulled back, come in and put in this higher low as well. So we're still we're now. So we've broken through this area. So we can confirm that area. We, if we put in a higher high up here, then we could say we're in, back in the channel. So we are really in a hourly, in a daily uptrend again. Um, we've broken through here, so we've broken through that channel as well, and that's confirmed that we've changed that the, the trends change. I think the clue was here. We weren't able this big engulfing bar. You would have expected that you know that engulfed the last prior two days, and you would have thought that this big bar would have had some follow through back down, but it didn't and it's been pretty bullish since. Um, so, but I try not to um, trade the news or trade what I think, because it's, you know, I've, in my mind I was thinking, oh, we're gonna break down here, and we're gonna have this big gap before we get down, and we've got low volume in this area as well over here. And, you know, to me, I was thinking that's where I was heading. But I've had to change how I trade. I've had a few choppy days where I've been chopped up a bit trying to go short in all these trend days. Yesterday was one of those days. It wasn't a bad, it was a losing day yesterday. It wasn't a bad losing day. Um, but I was trying to go short at all these different levels. And in the end, today I woke up and said, right, I'm gonna go with the trend. And that's why I went with the trend. And look where I am now, still in the trend. I'm still in the trade and it's been over six hours. Right, have a good day. Um, hopefully you've had a good day trading and I will see some of you in, in the power hour a bit later or tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching.